guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see in the thumbnail, and obviously the title of the video, this is going to be another empties video. So for a while I was doing like empties videos all the time. I am not creative at all, so probably not the best person to be doing YouTube, but you know, we try. So I was like, haven't done an empties video for a while, haven't done a lot of videos for a while, honestly. And I am procrastinating doing a PM skincare routine. Did an AM skincare routine and then just never did the PM version of that. So I'm thinking today, like, we're on lockdown 2020 right now. I luckily have not been locked down because, because of my job. I don't really see people. So I go to the bar and do my deal. But it is the weekend and I'm sitting here. I'm like, hmm. Maybe we should film a video, what a novel idea. So we're gonna do an empties video. Um, I've got kind of a lot of stuff and a lot of them are supplements. I'm trying to think of any housekeeping things that we need to talk about. A lot of them are supplements. Um, I'll have them all, maybe not linked, but I do try to at least list the products down below. And my socials are in the description, I guess, which I really only am active on one social, let's be honest. I am active, semi-active on Instagram, and it's not even like skincare active. I don't, I don't know you guys. I am not a good YouTuber, social media person. I've got like, my Instagram is basically Preston and Horses, and then my YouTube is skincare when I upload. And then I made another YouTube channel. It's just my name, CJ Fisher. I'll link that below. It's gonna be like a vlog channel slash whatever I wanna do on a channel. I only have one video right now, but I will be posting more since I'm not gonna be going to horse shows or anything. And don't forget to check out my import shop, Vantouche. We have an eBay, we have an Etsy. We have, soon we'll have a Shopify account. And then when this all clears up, we will actually be able to get more product because we'll be able to travel and pick things up. So I think that's it, long-winded entrance, but let's just go ahead and pop into the products. So the first thing I have sitting on top is the hair color that I have historically used. So this is the Overtone Pastel Silver Deep Treatment. So I so love this brand. So if you're somebody with brown hair, they actually have created a whole line of products that will color brown hair without bleaching or anything. But then they also have these products that are you can put on blonde hair, bleached hair, whatever. So what I was doing when I wasn't going to, to a hair salon or to a hairstylist, I was literally just bleaching my hair at home, which my hair takes really well to bleach. So I realized that I'm lucky in that sense, but I would just bleach it and then I would use this product, which is a hair mask with color in it. So you'll kind of see there's a little bit of color in the container. I put that on, it says leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. I would leave it on for an hour to get a super saturated color. And I actually found that this lasts longer than hair dye does in my hair. Like this, I just got done two days ago. It's gonna start rinsing out within a week. That's just kind of the nature of hair dye, which is weird for me because the permanent hair dye doesn't really last, but my overtone hair masks that also has color in it lasts incredibly well. And then somewhere in here is, yes, this. So then they also sell conditioners that you would use daily or whenever you're washing your hair to just kind of keep that color vibrant and keep it going. So this would be like, if you really need to put intense color on, and then this would be kind of your daily just maintenance color. I love, love, love these products, and even though I get my hair colored now professionally, I do keep these because this will not last that long, so I kind of keep it going between hair appointments with that. Love those products. I highly recommend if you're kind of like trying to play with color, they have crazy colors, they have normal colors, they have green, purple, blue, yellow, then they also have like uh, silvers, different colors, silvers, different blacks, different reds, all kinds of colors. They're a really, really fun brand. I love them. Here's a product that's not totally out. I just don't use it, so I'm getting rid of it. It's the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. This is fine. There's some, um, I want to say alpha hydro, oh yeah, here we go. There's a duo of alpha hydroxy acid and pumpkin, as well as papaya and pineapple enzymes. So it's supposed to be kind of a well-rounded exfoliating cleanser. Um, it's fine. It does foam up a little bit, not crazy. It's just an okay cleanser to me. I have cleansers that I like better. I think I got this in a maybe like a Sephora kit. So yeah, it's fine. Wouldn't repurchase. The next problem, or problem, ha ha ha. The next product is my Hadalabo Gokujin Premium Lotion. So this is the version with five weights of hyaluronic acid in it. A really, really great product. You get a ton of 
Essence serum in it. And to me, this is as good as any hyaluronic acid serum product I've used, maybe next to the Skin Medica HA5. But honestly, you guys, for like 20 bucks, you get, this has got to be, what, 8 ounces? 170 mils, so uh, basically 6 ounces. A lot of product for 20 bucks, and it's incredible. It works really, really well. That's why so many people talk about it, obviously. Okay, let's pump through some supplements. So since the virus has hit, I've been doubling up on my kind of liver supplements. So I actually really believe in taking like liver, eating liver, eating can eat, eating organs. I think that is really, really important in, in our modern society. I'm not saying I have the best diet, but in our modern society we are not getting all of the nutrients, vitamins, minerals, everything that we should be getting, obviously. So I do like to take supplements and I do try to incorporate organ meats and different types of meats and fats into my diet. So one way that I find it's easy, especially when traveling, to incorporate uh, organs and stuff, is to take supplements. So this one is a brand I was just trying. I've seen them on Instagram, and it's Ancestral Supplements. This is their grass-fed liver capsules. I take six of these, but then as I was saying, when the virus started hit hitting, because liver is kind of a, it's high in vitamin A, so the animal uh, animal-derived version of retinol, and it's kind of like a whole foods version of a multivitamin. Now you know I've taken liver supplements for a long time, so just to kind of boost my immune system, kind of give myself some more nutrients, I did start taking six of these morning and six of these at night. So I go through it a little bit quicker right now, but I do feel that it really works. It gives you a well-rounded, synergistic uh, nutrient supply, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And yeah, I just really, really like them. I also have some other kind of like full spectrum organ supplements that I'm taking, trying out. And yeah, that this is one that I used. I don't think I'd repurchase this one because it's like 50 something dollars, I think. And the one that I just bought is 30. But I also do have an affiliate link with Perfect Supplements and they have a really good liver supplement as well that I do tend to repurchase. Plus they give you a multi-bottle discount. So with the discount and the multi-bottle discount, you get a lot of quality supplement for not that much money. Um, this one was good. They have a lot of other supplements, animal-derived supplements that I'm looking to try. And yeah, that's all I have to say on that one. Another supplement that I pretty much continually take is the Carlson Wild Nor Wow Wild Norwegian Cod Liver Oil. This is the Super 1000 milligram version. Um, I try to take a fish oil, a flax oil, and a cod liver oil just because, again, uh, liver oils are or liver supplements are great, and then cod liver oil will give you some different nutrients that the beef liver will not. Obviously this is going to give you the omega fatty acids, omega-3 specifically, EPA, DHA, but then it also has the vitamin A, vitamin D, and vitamin E, and some fat. So I do like to take those three along with my other supplements. Um, this one's just a good quality one that's not super expensive that I enjoy. And speaking on oil, here's my flaxseed oil. I just get this one at Whole Foods, 1,000 milligrams, take one a day. It's good. I was low when I did my micronutrient testing like two years ago. I was low in omega-3s, so I do try to take a sufficient amount of omega-3s, especially since I'm probably not eating enough of them in my diet. I do try to supplement with them. Another supplement that I just finished is the Gero Formulas Bioavailable Hyaluronic Acid. I take two of these a day just for kind of everything. Of course, hyaluronic acid internally is good for your skin, but hyaluronic acid is also found in our synovial fluid, in our joints, uh, so it's good for your whole body. This one is just hyaluronic acid. You have to look when looking at kind of hair, skin, body, hyaluronic acid supplements, because sometimes they will include like chondroitin, MSM, and or biotin. Chondroitin, totally fine with, but MSM and biotin can cause acne in some people just because of the way they work with your body. The MSM, I know when I took it, I really liked it, but I did break out, and then biotin, I'm just not even trying because I'm fine on biotin, but it does have a tendency, if you're acne prone or oily skinned, it can break you out. Obviously, you have to experiment with that on your own, but that's just kind of my take on it. So I just take straight up hyaluronic acid, I like this one, it's 120 milligrams. I want to say that the steady dosage for hyaluronic acid internally is 240 milligrams. I 
don't quote me, but I'm fairly certain that's what I read. So this one is less than, so you could double up, but I just take this kind of a, a maintenance dose. La, la, la. Another supplement that I have is the Dr. Mercola Liposomal Vitamin C, 1000 milligrams per serving. So if you guys remember before I took the packet liposomal vitamin C, that works well. Uh, the only reason I'm not taking that one is because I just haven't purchased it from the Eclipse Pharmacy. You can get it other in other places, but that, that pharmacy online has a good, a uh, pretty good price. They ship to you fairly quickly. You can't really find that one in stores. There are other liposomal vitamins you can take. I think it's called Live On or Live Lab, something like that. So I have been playing with the liposomal vitamin C capsules, basically just as long as I'm incorporating some type of liposomal vitamin C into my supplement routine, I am happy. I don't really notice, I guess I don't really notice much of a difference with the vitamin C, but I do try to incorporate that. This one's fine. I would get it again if I see it. Here's the one that I was talking about. This is the Perfect Supplements Perfect Desiccated Liver. So this one is 120 capsules. Each capsule is 750 milligrams. You're basically, your general recommended dosage for the liver supplement is 3,000 milligrams. So you take whatever the equivalent would be, but you can't really OD on it, especially when you're just starting. Um, you can take quite a, quite a bit of liver. Obviously, you want to kind of monitor how much vitamin A you're intaking so you don't have a vitamin A overload, but you're probably not going to. A lot of us are deficient in everything but vitamin A as well. So yeah, I really like this one. This one's non-GMO. It's gluten-free. The uh, cows are pasture-raised. It's hormone-free. This is just a really, really good supplement. Perfect Supplements actually is a company that I like to work with. I purchased a lot of things from them. If you go back in other MT's videos, you'll see that. They're just a very good quality, straight up, like honest brand, honest company, honest e-tailer, whatever you want to call them. They have their own brand of products and it's, you do tend to get a better price on them because there's not a lot of marketing and there's not a lot of frill that go into them. Their product is just straightforward. If you get a liver supplement, it's just straightforward, grass-fed, clean liver. If you get a whatever vitamin C supplement, it's just that. It's kind of like bulk supplements. They're just straightforward, good quality products. I really like them and they've got some fun things on their website. Here's the liposomal vitamin C that I was talking about. It's the lipospheric vitamin C from Live On Laboratory. So that was what I was talking about. This one is like you get it in the little capsule. They tell you you put it in the shot of water basically and take it. But what, what I did was I just cut it open because it tastes so, so gross to me. I would just cut the capsule open like squirt it into my mouth, swallow, and then drink some water. Just so I could kind of minimize the tasting of the product. It feels like snot, so when I would do the shot version, sometimes I would gag, um, which is not great, right? You don't want to throw up your supplement. That's kind of defeats the purpose. Here's another one of the cod liver oil supplements. Obviously, I continue taking those. And I have a couple more supplements here. Here is the Thorn. So I really love Thorn as a supplement brand. They're, they have very, very high quality products. Um, this is the Reversa Cell supplement. So I really like this one. I saw this first on Lita Lum Apotheca's YouTube channel. She talks a lot about supplements and internal health and stuff, which I'm absolutely fascinated in. In another life, besides being a plastic surgeon, in another, another life, I would be some type of like nutritionist. I think it's fascinating. Um, but this has nicotinamide riboside chloride, which is a studied, potentially anti-aging ingredient that you can take internally. This also has trans resveratrol at an amount that would take, I want to say that when I was watching her video, the amount of trans resveratrol that they include in here in a single dose is equivalent to like 10 bottles of wine or 100 bottles of wine a day. So I love wine love to drink wine not drinking that much wine though i've gone through three of these so far i have another one in my cabinet that i'm using right now i just get them off of amazon i think i buy directly from thorin on amazon so it, it's good i like taking supplements and it's one of those things you just kind of have to commit to and decide if you 
if you see a difference, if you don't see a difference, if you want to continue with it. Supplements are like skincare. Sometimes you're going to see a noticeable difference and sometimes you just have to kind of assume it's happening like an antioxidant. So this is the Garden of Life CBD Plus Inflammatory Response. I wanted to try this because I am interested in taking CBD supplements. I give Preston a CBD to help with seizures. Since starting him on his CBD, I give him three drops of a high potency uh, CBD oil. Since starting him on that, he has not had any seizures and he used to have them maybe once to twice a month, which is super scary, especially as they get older. I mean, one, it just breaks my heart watching my child go through this because it scares him and it's obviously painful for him or dramatizing for him. So I do not want him to experience that. So since starting him on CBD, he has knock on wood, not had any seizures, which to me, it's totally, totally worth it. So I wanted to try a CBD supplement for myself, just to kind of like, for everything. So without going too in depth into it, and I could go into another video and talk about this if you wanted, but we have a natural endocannabinoid system in our bodies. We get it through our mother's breast milk as babies, and it kind of acts like a hormone in the body, and it just helps with everything. So taking a CBD supplement does have a lot of benefits for your entire body. I mean, CBD is obviously being used all over the industry right now, but there are a lot of positive benefits to taking CBD. So I took this one. This is an anti-inflammatory plus CBD. So this has uh, 15 milligrams of CBD per serving, which is not a huge dose, but then it also has turmeric and uh, what is it? Turmeric, ginger root extract. So it's trying to provide some anti-inflammatories through herb roots as well. And then it included some clove, rosemary, and black pepper essential oils, I believe, or it says essence of pure oil, whatever that means. This one was quite expensive though. It's $60 for only a 30 day supply. So I did actually purchase a beauty drops version of what I buy for Preston. And it's a 1500 milligram per bottle. It's about $99 or 199 or 199 I'm not I think it's $99 per ounce and it lasts it lasts him for well over a year so I take it I take probably eight drops a day or I'll take like six drops at night three drops in the morning just to keep it going in my system that one is actually much more cost effective and is going to last me longer in the long run so while I did like this I if I'm gonna take it I want to take a more cost-effective version because hello money is finite in my world Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, here's a fourth bottle. Fourth bottle of the Thorn Resvera Cell. So yeah, obviously taking those. Sorry this is very supplement heavy, but that's just what I have. Here's a product that I took for a long time, and then I kind of wondered if... I'm not so sure about it. So this is the HelioCare... Basically that... I guess I want to say internal SPF boosting supplement. So there are three different versions of this. It includes the Polypodium Leucomotus Extract or Fern Block Technology. So originally I was taking this because I, when I would go to horse shows, obviously, there's a certain amount of sun exposure that is just going to happen. Like when I went to Arizona, no matter when I wore gloves, hat, my raincoat, you still would get a certain amount of sun because you just have to be in the sun sometimes for an extended period of time. Like my hands came back brown, my hair was totally just destroyed, I came back with a little color, which is not bad, but when you're in the sun, to that extent for that long, it's a problem. So I thought I would take this to kind of like help my body support or defend itself against the sun. But then I started kind of wondering like, we do need a certain amount of sun exposure. I mean, people will probably argue with that, but we do need a certain amount of sun exposure. We do need that vitamin D and I would prefer preferably be able to get some sort of vitamin D naturally without having to supplement everything. Well, I do believe in the power of supplements. I do think that we need to be getting as much stuff in our body naturally without having to supplement or do isolated vitamins or nutrients or minerals or whatever. So then I started wondering like, I don't necessarily know how much this is defending my skin against the sun, but if this is putting or boosting my body's internal SPF, then am I how much is it de decreasing the amount of vitamin D that I'm actually absorbing? And then in return, is that going to cause some sort of deficiency in the skin? So that kind of concerned me. Um, so I stopped taking it just because I don't, I don't know the answer, you know? I don't know. All right, next product we have is the Globiotics MD Calming Restorative Treatment. I love, love, love this product. It is a multi-purpose product. So the primary focus of this product is it's a 
basically an redness, re an instant redness reducing product. Try to get my words together there. So if you have any type of irritation, diffuse redness, just your face is feeling hot or kind of irritated or it's just red, splotchy, whatever, the primary focus of this product is to immediately help diffuse that redness. So it's fantastic at doing that. If you've over exfoliated, if you, you know, just your skin gets red sometimes. If you are experiencing any redness, this will go and immediately get rid of that. But the secondary thing that this does is it has it has growth factor mimicking probiotic ingredients that are going to give you that growth factor effect. So if you're somebody that's kind of irked by the thought of human derived growth factors, I am not, but some of you are, this is another option for you. You get one fluid ounce. I want to say it's around 95 or hundred dollars. Really, really great product. I love it. I like to keep this in my arsenal. One pump morning and night and it just kept my skin looking really, really good. Plus you get the added anti-aging effect of a growth factor type product. So I really love this one. If you are really anybody could use it, uh, any skin type, any skin concern, I recommend. It's a good one to have in your arsenal. Another Glow Biotics product that I got, this one was actually not the one that I thought I was purchasing, but I love it. So this is the Probiotic Firming and Replenishing Lotion. It's a moisturizer that has a, I would say, medium weight consistency. Really, really nice. Very brightening to the skin. Nicely hydrates the skin. Uh, has a sufficient amount of moisturizer. If you're very dry or dry, this would probably be a good daytime moisturizer. Uh, I think all skin types could use this. Again, just depends on what your skin type is like. Um, I was fine using it morning and night. If I felt I needed a little bit more, I would mix a couple drops of oil in. But yeah, I really, really like this moisturizer. I actually am looking forward to trying some other of their moisturizers because that one was great. Here's a product I talked about in the video with Trish. This is the Sulwasu Radiance Energy Mask. This is an overnight mask that has jade juice, jade plant juice, some kind of jade energy in it. It comes in this beautiful box with a little like spatula massage tool. Never use that. This product, I didn't really like it at home. So when I use this at home, I was kind of like, meh, it's, it's fine. But I found that this was a really, really great straight out product for me when I was traveling. When you have a minimal amount of products or you're doing less skincare steps or less skincare in general than you'd normally do, I found that I could wash my face and put this on and my skin was good the next day. It was sufficiently hydrated, it was firm, it was brightened, it was a good product on the road. I really liked it for that and it made super streamlined my skincare routine, which at a horse show when time is everything, this was a great product. I didn't have to do a full routine and I still felt like my skin was well taken care of. I don't recommend it if you're just kind of like looking for products that are super special. This is special, but in a very specific setting for me. I know some people like it, some people don't. It's again, a medium weight consistency. I just found that this was worth its weight in gold on the road for me at home. I didn't like it at all. So take that how you will. Here's a product that I really wanted to like. So this is the Michelle Sun Protection, the untinted version. Now I absolutely love the tinted version. I got that thanks to Trish. She, it's one of her favorite sunscreens and I got it and it's great. But I also wanted to try the untinted version and this one, I'm sure this product is really good, but this one was like congealed. The physical sunscreen had like fully separated from the oils and waters in the product. So I just stopped didn't use it. I used it once and it like just was not working. I don't know if it was expired or if it just had sat too long or something didn't mix properly. But this one was, at least this individual product was not it. Here's a product I just dumped on the drain. It's the simple micellar water. Don't really use micellar waters. This one's fine. Here is the Ambly Naturals Thousand Roses Beautiful Day Cream. I love the Thousand Roses line. I love the night cream. I love the day cream. I love the mask, the toner. The Thousand Roses line to me is their standout line. I like the hemp line as well, but I only use the mist. Um, this is a really nice kind of light gel cream type moisturizer. Very nice, soothing to the skin, smells lovely. And Andalou Naturals is a really nice price point. So it's a good product. Here is the It's Clinical Gen XC, for, uh, Gen XC Serum. So this is a uh, da, 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 da. It is either a 15 or a 20% vitamin C product, but it also has the inclusion of other antioxidants and extremosomes, which are supposed to help your skin defend against 
free radical damage, it is a is clinical patented ingredient. The delivery system of this is really nice. This is their more expensive vitamin C serum, but it is very, very good. I was happy to try it, and I did see some good brightening effects. Um, if you know anything about its clinical serums, they are essentially water weight and absorb nearly on contact with the skin. So if you don't like a product that sits on your skin or takes a while to absorb, I would highly recommend you check out the Is Clinical Serums because they absorb so fast, almost too fast. Like you almost can't get them spread on your face, which is totally fine. Here is the Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Recovering Drops. So this is a uh, epidermal growth factor peptide serum with the inclusion of guaya azelene, which is a soothing uh, ingredient. So there's blueberry extract, guaya azelene, soothing ingredients, and then it includes oligopeptide 1 and polypeptide 1. So it's supposed to be kind of like a uh, growth factor, epidermal growth factor peptide soothing treatment. It's pretty nice. Um, not my favorite product in the world. I did potentially see a little bit of Firming, not a ton, not a huge, re huge results, but I only used one bottle and haven't repurchased it, so whatever. Here's a product that I almost did an entire video on, and then I didn't. This is the Dr. Pickard's 3% uh, Copper pep pep Tripeptide Serum. This is a very well-priced product. It's by Skin Biology, I guess, is the actual brand. So this is like three times more copper tripeptides than the is uh, niod copper tripeptide serum but I, the more i was reading like there is a link between uses of usage of copper tripeptides and hair growth so if you're somebody that has trouble with ingrown hairs i me then ingrown hairs or hair growth on your face or you don't want hair growth on your face because hello most women don't i don't but most women don't either then using a copper tripeptide serum may not be for you are they potentially great ingredients yes but i did find the amount of ingrown hairs that i experienced when using this was significantly higher than when i wasn't so i did see results but I also saw very negative results. So take that with a grain of salt. If you like copper tripeptides, maybe give it a go. This is a very good price, very good product. If you're somebody that is trying to stay away from hair growth on your face, then maybe don't use it. To go along with that, this is their Super Copper 2X. I think this is like 7% copper tripeptide. Um, I just stopped using it because you guys just heard me have problems with the copper tripeptides. Here's a really nice product. It's a Glowbiotics Probiotic Instant Refreshing Gel Hydrator. This is a gel hydrator. You can use it as a gel moisturizer. Uh, I really liked using this with... I did it a couple ways. One way is I would do it prior to a moisturizer, so to give an extra added plumpness and bounciness to my skin. Of course, you're also getting those beautiful probiotics that Glowbiotics is known for. But I also like using this if I wanted to use a moisturizer, kind of a lighter but a little bit have more than a gel moisturizer I would mix just a couple drops of oil in with this and it was the perfect like summer daytime moisturizer under a sunscreen I really like this product I didn't think I was gonna like the gel I don't usually like gel like moisturizers but this one was a very good to use gave me beautiful hydration and I just really liked it Here's the Lemieux Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is a very nice hyaluronic acid serum. Um, pretty straightforward, about 60 bucks, so it's uh, comparable to like a conventional skincare price. Lemieux is a fairly interesting brand. They have a lot of fun products, and all of their products are based in hyaluronic acid. So if you get any of their EGF, TGF, vitamin C, any of their serums, it will be based in hyaluronic acid. So that's pretty cool. I like when you have a brand that does something like that because you get just that much more hydration or that much of a hyaluronic acid boost in your skincare. So potentially you can take, you don't need a stuff like this. But yeah, this is a good serum. Here is my beloved Advanced Snail 96 Muse and Power Essence by Cosrx. This is bottle 412. I keep this on hand at all times. I use this on my face nearly every day and night. I love it. Snail is a great healing ingredient. This is a very high potency of snail and a very good price. I will buy that forever. Three more products. Here's the Tasha Camellia Gold Spun Lip Balm. I didn't like this at all. It's expensive, stupid, and I washed it a lot of times. So it just needed to go in the garbage because it had soap in it. Here is the Truth Treatment Assistant. 
Truth Treatment Systems Omega-6 Healing Cream. This is a great product to be mixed in for me with a moisturizer or with a transdermal seed balm or just anything. Like to me, I never really liked using this on its own because it is, it will just sit right on top of your face. This has a nice compound of ingredients, including the tetrahexadecal ascorbate, so you get the lipid soluble soothing and healing form of vitamin C. I loved putting a little bit of this in with a moisturizer or my moisturizing step. I found that that helped it to kind of emulsify into the product better and then I found that I got a better result from it. Kind of like I do with a balm. I don't necessarily, if I'm using a balm, I'll wet my face and massage it in. This, I would either wet my face or mix it in with something and I found it worked really, really well. And you use like this much of it. So this, this container lasted me two and a half years, two years, two and a half years, a long time. Love true treatment systems though. And the last product comes to you from Wish Trend. This is the Vitamin 75 Maximizing Cream. So this has 75% of the vitamin tree water, uh, which vitamin tree is also known as C. buckthorn. So it has natural oils, contains vitamin E, contains vitamin C. This was a light gel cream consistency. It had a kind of tangy, almost citrusy scent. I really like this. I use this as my daily moisturizer every day for a while. Saw mild brightening effects. It's a good price, made in Korea, made by Wish Trend. I tend to like their products, so this was another pretty good one. So that's it for my empties, you guys. I had a lot of stuff because I hadn't done one for a while. Let me know if you want to hear about any of the products that I talked about further, or if there are any videos, products, things that you want to see from me. I am open to suggestions. So that's it for this one, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.